Paso County is issuing a disaster declaration because of an increase in jail inmates. And the federal government pays the county to hold federal inmates, but state troopers have been arresting a lot of suspected human smugglers. And the state does not reimburse El Paso County for the space that they use in the jails, which means that's also leaving the jail with fewer beds for those federal inmates. And ABC 7's Heriberto Perez spoke with the county judge Ricardo Samaniego this afternoon and joins us live with the story. Heriberto. Good evening, Paul Stephanie. Currently, the county of El Paso charges a little more than $100 per day to maintain federal inmates. And for state inmates, the county actually spends money from its own budget. According to El Paso County Judge Ricardo Samaniego, at the, at the beginning of the year, the county went from almost 800 beds to now about 58. And the reason for that is a lot of the federal charges have now become state charges, uh, human trafficking, uh, all of these other charges uh, that, that, we, that used to be federal are now state, which means that we don't get reimbursed for these new inmates. Plus, we're losing, at this point, we've lost almost $10 million of revenue from the federal government. El Paso County Judge Ricardo Samaniego also told me, at this point, it is not only the loss of revenue that's hurting the county, but the fact that when it's a federal inmate, all expenses are covered by the federal government. Now, with all state inmates arrested under Operation Lone Star, the county needs to take care of the entire cost of an inmate. And sometimes this becomes an expense spends out of taxpayer money. What we've had to spend on our own is about three million dollars. Uh, so we're asking, you know, we were the funding from uh, Operation Lone Star. Uh, there they have about as much as five million depending on your cost. Uh, so we're requesting that we get uh, that money so that we could cover an offset. Otherwise, this is taxpayer money. The three million spent so far by the county have come out of quality of life, infrastructure, or something else needed for the county. Now it's going to be a spend toward jail maintenance. County Judge Samaniego said District Attorney Bill Hicks is in talks with the Office of Texas Governor Greg Abbott to use the Rogelio Sanchez facility located by the jail annex to house more state and federal inmates. On this way, the county will recover some revenue for hosting federal inmates once again. And Paul Stephanie, once again, El Paso County George Ricardo Samaniego confirmed to me that he will be submitting this disaster declaration today to the state of Texas in order to get the Operation Lone Star funding for the current county jails. He wanted to wait up to this point to not request additional Texas DPS troopers or more na uh, Texas National Guard soldiers. I'm reporting live from downtown El Paso, Heriberto Perez, ABC7.